I'm Brad Nessler, here along with two of the best commentators in the game, Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. With the temperatures rising, we're glad to be in the air-conditioned booth for today's game between the Oregon State Beavers and the Oregon Ducks. We're about to bring you one of the most played college football rivalries. They've been doing battle since 1894 in what's known as the Civil War. And here come the Ducks. Kirk, how do you see this one? This really looks like a deadlock. This could go to either team. Oregon brings a defense with attitude in a game that should be close. And I think that mindset gives them the edge. It all starts with their leader at linebacker. And I look for him to lead them to victory. Not so fast, my friend. Oregon State will win this one, sweetheart. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Kicks it off. Lindsay takes from the 10. Kickoff return 23 yards. Lindsay on the return. They'll go to work at the 32. Oregon State goes with the ace set here. He drops back. He steps up, looks. He passes it. The ball is tipped. He's lucky that pass fell innocently to the turf. Yep, total coverage on that one. Got to pick his destinations better. Second and 10, ball on the 32. They're lining up in the 5-2. Back to pass. Down the middle. And that one's fallen incomplete. The wide receiver wasn't able to hang on. Well, you talk about a solid hit. This guy is a true enforcer. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 32-yard line. The Beaver with four receivers. Drops back to pass. Complete. Buckner with a takedown. That's going to bring up fourth down. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback in the offensive line. They line up to punt this one away. Didn't get all of that one. Franklin takes it to 33, breaks one, and now we get to see this offense for the first time as they head out onto the field. They'll get the ball here at the 34-yard line. Nickel defense. Throws it to the outside. He breaks free. Inside the 30. To the 10. Goodbye. What an impressive call. I can hear the defense yelling run all the way up here. Boy, did they fall for that one or what? And he tacks on the extra point. Just over five minutes remaining in the first quarter. And our score, Oregon, seven. Oregon State, nothing. Lewis, ready to kick. Is lined up for the kickoff. Harrison, back deep to return. And they'll be returning this one. Lindsay takes it from the six. At the 30, at the 40, 
Across midfield, down the sideline. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. They'll throw on first down. Looking. Wants to throw outside. They'll bring him down. Now that was a good looking play. The quarterback put it where his receiver could get it, and now they have a first down. What I like is the faith that this quarterback has in his receiver. He's not afraid to throw it downfield. First and ten. Ball on the 13-yard line. The Beavers line up with three receivers. Bunch. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. The halfback gets the call and picks up five. The Beavers come out showing three wide. They don't run them again. Sewell with a monster hit. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Oregon State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. He drops back. Go into the end zone. He goes up and gets it. It's a touchdown. Nice play call on that one to get the ball in the receiver's hand. Yeah, the quarterback said, you want the ball, go get it. And did he ever. He got it and took it for six. And he hits the PAT. So here's the Pontiac drive summary to recap what just happened. like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it. Number 23 takes it at the 14. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. They'll set up shot at the 32-yard line. Oregon in a four wide set. Nix on first down. It's deflected and it falls incomplete. Heads up play to bat it down. Yeah, and if you can't get to the quarterback or intercept the pass, the next best thing is to get a hand up. Second, Second and 10. ten. Ball on their own 32. Single set backfield. Tackle. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. When you break one like that, you got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. Oregon lines up with three receivers. It's a direct snap. And he's taken down. That'll be a two-yard gain. Gain of two on the play. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on their own 47. They'll bring in their dime package. Back to pass. He's looking. Throws down the middle. It's deflected. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. Third and eight. Ball on the 47-yard line. Three wideouts here. Nix back to throw. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. 
Throws it to the outside. Grant with a takedown. It'll be short of the first after the completion. A good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. The Ducks line up to punt. Barry punts it, and he didn't get much distance on it. Number 28 signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 21-yard line. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 21. Looking, throws this one out to the right. Got it to his receiver. He was able to make that catch as he was falling out of bounds. I think that's one of the toughest catches. Able to focus on the ball and the sideline. That's exactly how you do it. It's second down and one to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. Nickel defense. Nolan still has it, throws it to the outside. Buckner brings him down. Nice heads up play by the quarterback. Yep, they're moving to change. That's a first down. First and 10, ball on their own 37. The Beaver line up with three wide. Nolan on first down. He tosses it short. Incomplete. The pass falls incomplete. Who? The intended receiver on the play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 37. The Beaver come out in a two tight end set. Nolan pitches out to the right. And now he's going to throw it. And he can't hang on to it. You got to be careful when you're calling a trick play like this because it's usually a huge gain or a turnover. They were lucky it was only incomplete. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on their own 37. Oregon State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. He lost this one over the middle. Picked off. Boy, the defense put the pressure on and forced the bad throw. You got that one right. Anytime a young kid sees one of those big guys looking to knock his head off, his brain is still on one thing. Just throw it. Uh, he did, Lee. He did throw it, but he's got to throw it away, not to the other team. They'll start this drive at the 25-yard line. Oregon comes out in the shotgun. High snap as he works from the gun. Throws it to the outside. It falls incomplete. Overthrew his man, but boy, did he have some heat on it. Too much heat. Completing the pass is more important than throwing the ball 100 miles an hour. That's true. He just needs to put a little bit more touch on that pass. The Ducks come out in the shotgun. On the ground with a tailback. Big opening. The 50. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Goodbye. That was a big run by the halfback. Boy, this kid makes the defense look silly. They're grabbing at a bunch of air down there. They got to hit somebody. And he tacks on the extra point. With just over a minute to go in the first quarter, the score is Oregon 14, Oregon State 7.
Lewis looks ready to kick this one off. Harrison back deep to return. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Harrison has it at the five. I know the first thing I wanted to do after throwing a pick was to come out that next drive and throw. Let the defense know that I wasn't intimidated. And how many times did you go right back in there and throw for another pick? As you know, a quarterback needs a short memory, so I really don't remember, Scooter. You know that I mean. Single set back for you. They'll throw on first down. He's looking. Steps up. Throws this one out to the left. With that pressure, he just couldn't do much with it. His chance of accuracy on that throw was practically zero. Good job by the defense. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Across the middle. Got it. Wow, nice catch. Way to look it in. Heck of a job by the wide receiver. These guys are moving the ball down the field. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. Oregon State lines up with three receivers. the play action and he's going to be sacked for a loss they get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started this young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen it's tough to find the receivers when the defense is in your face like that it's second down 15 to go ball on their own 48 The Beaver line up with three receivers bunched. Nolan back to pass. Throw. Got it to the senior. And they push him out. A five yard gain. Five yard gain on the one. Third and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Oregon State comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. He's got his receiver with nobody around him. And he's shoved out of bounds. Good job of attacking the coverage to keep the drive alive. That was a great looking pass to move the sticks on third down. A long ways yet to go, but at the end of one, our score, Oregon 14, Oregon State 7. It's first and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. The Beavers line up with three wide. Nice play fake. Looks to the end zone. It's deflected. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. So it's second and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. Oregon State lines up with three receivers. Nolan drops the throw. He steps up, looking. Wants to throw outside. Bridget with a takedown. They gain five yards there. Five-yard gain on the play. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Oregon State goes with the ace set here. Nolan steps back to pass. He's looking under pressure, and he's going to come up with a sack. Now that's some heavy pressure. It all starts with the battle up front. I don't care how good your receivers are or how explosive your running backs are. If you can't control the line of scrimmage, then it's tough to move the football. I agree, Coach. And the thing is, this quarterback can make some plays for you if you give him enough time back there to throw. Well, it looks like he's going to have to figure out how to make plays without time. They'll line up for the kick, and this is going to be extremely long. The kick is up. And the wind got a hold of that one. No good. Right. 
They'll get the ball here at the 34. Oregon sets up with four receivers. A little juke. And they make the stop. Didn't get anything. No gain on the play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 34. They line up in an eye. There's the play fake. Throws it deep downfield. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on their own 34. Nix lines up in the shotgun. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. Has all day to throw. He's looking for his man. Incomplete pass. I know it's incomplete, but still, you've got to be impressed with the zip that he put on that one. He did have some heat on it. That's for sure. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Barry gets it off. Harrison fields it at the 27. Their kicker missed the field goal attempt the last time this offense had it. Anytime you have a shot at putting points on the board and you don't get it, you get a little frustrated. But this offense is very capable of scoring at any time. Oregon State in a four-wide set. Excellent job by the defense to read the draw play. Yep, the quarterback thought he could spread him out and find a hole for himself to run through. But they were having none of that. So it's second and ten. Ball in the 34. The Beavers come out in the ace formation. He drops back. Steps up. Wants to throw outside. And that one's fallen incomplete. He overthrew his tight end. I know the tight end has a little more height than the wideouts, but give me a break. Third and ten. Ball on their own 34. Six DBs in the lineup. Nolan drops back. Looking. He steps up. Rolling out to the right side. Complete. At the 40. Inside the 30. That's how you get a first down. Coach, they took a risk and went for a long ball. Boy, did it pay off. Excellent play call. It's first and ten. Ball on the 27. One man backfield. Nolan. Just again. Sewell lays it on him. One, two, three. Kirk, he might be out for the count. Oh, what a hit. You know, at the end of the year, you're going to look back at this and remember this is one of the hits of the year. That guy can really bring it. The Beaver line up with three wide. He's looking. He might not be able to get the pass off. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. Hold it. On the offense. Ten yard penalty. Still that penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. Second and long. Ball on the 38. Nickel defense. Nolan drops back to pass. Looks. Short toss. And it's caught. And he's taken down. And they get a few yards on that little reception. Check it out. He ran a good route on his play. And the timing of the pass was good. And they were able to get a nice game. Defense faces another third down as they line it up. Six DBs in the lineup. Back to pass. He's in trouble. And
and he's going to be sacked for a loss. The linebacker brought down the quarterback before he could find an open man. Something tells me he would have gotten punished even if he did find an open man. That backer was coming in hard. Very long field goal attempt. It's up. And this one doesn't have the distance. First Two minutes 10. to go in the half. Ball on the 37 yard line. Nix has four receivers lined up here. Nix set to go to the air. Wants to throw outside. He somehow comes up with it. And he's tackled. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. The Ducks line up with five receivers. Looking. He's going left, and it's incomplete. Oh, he had his man, too. Yep, he just overthrew him. Next time, he might want to take something off of it. In second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 48. The Ducks come out in the ace formation. They keep it on the ground on the tailback. And down he goes. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 45-yard line. Ace backfield. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He's looking. Over the middle. Got it to his receiver. To the 20. And they convert the third down with a long pass play. You're right, Brad, and that was a long pass play. As a coach, you got to appreciate it when your players come out and perform like these kids are doing right now. First it's first and 10, ten. Ball, ball on the 18. Nix comes to the line with three wide. Nix with the give. He breaks free. Oregon calls a timeout. Yeah. Oregon lines up in a goal line set. He rolls left, looks, wants to throw outside, and it's complete for the touchdown. The tight end comes up with a catch for the touchdown. Let me tell you something. Tight ends are valuable players because lots of times, defenses forget about the passing game, and you can make plays like that look real easy. So here's the Pontiac Drive Summary to recap what just happened. to kick this one off. Lindsay and Harrison back deep to return. We should have a return on this one. Harrison has it at the five. He juked him out of his shoes. At the 30. 
A missed field goal was the result of the last drive. We'll have to see if they can come through with something this possession. They'll go to work at the 38. He drops back, steps up in the pocket, throws it to the outside, knocked out of bounds. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. First and ten, ball on the 43-yard line, single set backfield. Keep it on the ground. Here's Johnson with a monster hit. The Beavers call for a timeout, and they've got two remaining. It's second down and four to go. Ball on the 37. Nolan back to throw. Here comes the pressure. Looking, and he's going to be sacked. Oregon State takes a timeout. Third and nine, ball on the 42-yard line. The defense lines up with six DB. Nolan drops the throw, wants to throw outside, finds his receiver, and he's brought down. What an amazing catch, first down. Boy, Brad, you said it. That is a big-time play there. Spectacular catch and great body control there on the long pass reception. The Beavers line up with two tight ends. Over the middle. Touchdown, Oregon State. The tight end scored that time. And with authority, Fred is a physical football player. But he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game. And he tacks on the extra point. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Pontiac. Fuel for the soul. State ready to kick this one off. Number 23 and Franklin deep to return. He kicks it. Franklin takes from the 10. Broke away from one at the 30. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. They'll set up shot at the 35 yard line. Nix lines up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. He's looking. Comes across the middle. The senior makes the catch. Oregon calls a timeout. It's second down and two to go. Ball on the 43. Nickel defense. Nix off the fake. Throws it to the outside. Got it. And they push him out. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First, first and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. Nix comes to the line with three wide. Nix drops back on first down, tipped away. That's just good defense right there, Coach. It was, Kurt, but you know what? It's all reaction. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm's length away, you knock it down. In second down and 10 to go, ball on the 35. 
Nix lines up in the shotgun. Steps up. He unloads it. Intercepted. And a great set of hands by the defender on that one. How about that, Kurt? We spent the whole week talking to some of his teammates, and no one told us he could catch like that. You're right, Coach. I wonder if this guy played both ways in high school. They'll take over at the 25. At the 25 yard line. Nolan drops back on first down. Throws down the middle. Got him on the run. And he's tackled. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result was a first down. He's backfield. Nolan pitches out to the right. Throws it to the outside. Has it to the senior. Hill with a takedown. And we've reached halftime here. The score at the break. Oregon 21, Oregon State 14. Second half just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. Here's the kick. Number 23 takes it to 14. And now we'll see the offense coming on out of the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 32-yard line. First and ten. Five wide. They'll throw on first down. Looks across the middle. Complete. Right. Brings him down. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. It's second down and four to go. Ball on the 38. Mix with four wide receivers. He'll dump this one off. And it's caught. Right with a takedown. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Third and two. Ball on the 40 yard line. Oregon will line up in a jumbo set here. And down he goes. The offense will leave the field after failing to get a first down. And give credit to the defensive players who made the necessary stops on that sequence of plays. Oregon ready to put this one away. Harrison, Barry gets it off. Harrison fields at the 31. Across midfield, at the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Goodbye! A huge special teams miscue there, guys. No doubt. We'd love to have that one back. Yeah, but credit the return for a great run back. He just ran by everybody. And he hits the PAT. So with under five minutes left in the third quarter, our score, Oregon State 21, Oregon 21.
Oregon State is ready to kick it away. Franklin and number 23 set to return. Short kick, he didn't get a hold of that one. Franklin takes it at the eight. At the 30. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession. Going three and out. They'll go to work at the 41. At the 41 yard line. First and 10. Oregon comes out in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Comes across the middle. And he's taken down. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. Right. First and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Damn. They come out with four wide out. Hot. Hot. They'll throw on first down. Looking. He rolls out to the right. He's going left. Got it. Got some open field. Right brings him down at the 27. Looks like someone was called for holding. Holding on the offense. Ten yard penalty. Still first down. Beep. 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 Uh, Scooter, what are you doing? Kirk, my friend, that's the sound of the offense going in reverse. It's first and a mile. Ball on the 44. Nix comes to the line with three wide. Hot. 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 He steps up, throws. Someone got a hand on it. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. They line up in the shotgun. Nix steps back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Well, coach, a short pickup on that pass play. It was, but you know what? As long as they've got those guys getting open underneath, it'll take a lot of pressure off those offensive linemen who are trying to hold their blocks. Passing situation here on third and long. Ball right around midfield. Nix with four wide receivers. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. Got it. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't it, Coach? Oh, yeah, this offensive coordinator must have seen something the defense he really liked. First and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Yeah. Nix lines up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Looks. He's going left. Incomplete. He just had too much on that one, Coach. The quarterback put everything he had into that one. The problem, it was inaccurate. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 28. Nix comes to the line with three wide. Nix with a nice play fake. Throws it to the outside, and he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. The Ducks go with the I formation. Nix set to go to the air, looking. Throws down the middle, and it's the senior. Right, lays it on him. Good job of attacking the coverage to keep the drive alive. That was a great looking pass to move the sticks on third down. They put everyone up on the line. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He lobs it right side. Complete. And he's drilled. Loss of two. Loss of two on the play.
Hagen comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Throws a lob pass out to the left. He's gobbled up in the backfield. They're stopped two yards behind the line. Oregon comes out in the shotgun. Nix back to throw. Wants to throw outside. I hate to downplay this quarterback, but that defense has got to defend the pass better, Kurt. Well, Coach, the quarterback's throwing very well today, but you're right. Third touchdown pass given up today. They've got to step up and make more plays. And he tacks on the extra point. This drive summary is brought to you from our good friends at Pontiac. Lewis looks ready to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Lindsay fields it at the seven. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 25-yard line. Oregon State lines up with three receivers. Nolan still has it. He's looking. Short toss. And down he goes. Almost six yards on the play action. Gain of six on the play. It's second down and four to go. Ball on the 31. Oregon State goes with the ace set here. Brooks, he throws it, and it's caught. Knocked out of bounds. That was a well-designed play. Yep, good execution there. Nice job of getting the first down on that pass. First and ten. Ball on their own 38. Nolan with three wide receivers. Nolan drops back on first down. Complete tackle. Gain of nine. Makes the reception. Nine yard gain on the play. The Beavers come out in the ace formation. Rogers with a takedown. Short gain there by the halfback for the first down. It's first and ten, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Beaver come out of the ace formation. Again with the run. They'll bring him down. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one, Oregon 28. Oregon State 21. Second and seven. And this is the sixth play of the drive. The Beavers line up with two tight ends. Toss. Throws it to the outside. Incomplete pass. You got to be careful when you're calling a trick play like this because it's usually a huge gain or a turnover. They were lucky it was only incomplete. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 48. 
Oregon State comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. It falls incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high, and that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. Gets it off. Stevens calls for the fair catch. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 25. The Ducks set up in the gun. Nick on first down. He tosses it short, dropped by the wideout. Second and 10, ball on their own 25. Oregon lines up in a shotgun set. Nix drops back to pass, throws, and down he goes. Three, maybe four yards on the pass. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball of the 29. The Ducks go with the I formation. Nix drops the throw. He's got a throw it in a hurry, and they got it. The quarterback had nowhere to go, and he's brought down for the sack. They've got to do a better job up front with their pass protection. If they don't start picking up everybody, then this quarterback's going to be pretty sore in the morning. That's for sure. They line up to punt this one away. Barry gets it off. Harrison takes it to 47. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. They had something going, but were unable to get any points. They'll start this drive at the 48. Oregon State goes with the ace set here. Nolan will hand it off. And they make the stop. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job at reading his blocks and accelerating through the holes. It's first and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. And they have three bunches. Nolan on first down. Looking, going deep, lays it out there. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. Second and 10, ball on the 42. Single set back for you. He drops back. He steps up. Across the middle. The ball is tipped. Great defensive play by the cornerback. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 42 yard line. Nickel defense. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking. Under pressure. Let's it fly. Got it to the senior. The 10. Touchdown, Oregon State. And he's turning in a pretty good passing game. That was his third touchdown through the air. Right. 
and he hits the PAT. So with just over four minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, the score is Oregon State 28, Oregon 28. ready to kick and they'll be returning this one Franklin takes it at the 8 this defense did a good job on the last series they forced the offense to go three plays and out and now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here they'll go to work at the 26 yard line first and 10 Oregon State has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He tosses it short. And it's caught. Didn't get anything. On the reception. No gain on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. The Ducks come out in a shotgun. He drops back. He steps up, looks, throws short, complete, brought down. And with that catch, he goes over 100 yards. Well, this wide receiver is definitely having a solid game. He's getting his yards, but more importantly, he's moving the chains for first downs. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 30. One man backfield, Nix, set to go to the air. The ball is tipped. Fantastic play by the cornerback. All you young defensive backs at home, that is how you play defense. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. Didn't get all of that one. Harrison takes it to the 43. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. They'll set up shot at the 46-yard line. The Beaver line up with three wide. He's shaking Baker, and he's taken down. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Second and seven, ball on their own 49. Nolan comes to the line with three wide. Nice play fake. Short off. And it's caught. The play fake, good for only a couple. Third and five coming up. Ball right around midfield. Oregon State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Has it to the senior. Harrison makes the reception. Game of 14 on the play. First and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. Oregon State lines up with three receivers. And he's leveled. What a hit. Almost eked out a yard on that Second and nine coming up here. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Beavers line up with three receivers. Running. They hand it off again. No gain. No gain on the play. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Three wideouts here. He drops back. He's going left. Batted ball. 
The defense needed that one. How about the move here by this cornerback? Great play that time, getting a hand on the football. They'll line up for the kick, and this is going to be extremely long. He gets it up. And it's wide left. No good. I think the pressure might have gotten to him there. Well, there's no question about this. Anytime you have a chance to put your team on top of the field goal, there's a little added pressure. I think you're right. I think it got to him. More than a little. Right. They'll take over at the 34-yard line. The Ducks go with the I formation. They'll throw on first down. Let's it go. Complete. They'll bring him down. He caught it, but the reward was minimal. I don't know, Brad. I don't know what the quarterback saw, but hey, at least it wasn't a sack or an interception. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 36-yard line. Oregon lines up for the shotgun set. Over the middle. Grant brings him down. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. Oregon takes a timeout. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. Oregon goes with the ace set here. Looking. Throw short. And it's caught. Grant with a takedown. Oregon calls a timeout. Second and seven. Ball on the 50. Nick. Lines up in the shotgun. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped him yet. And he's got him on the fly. To the 10. Touchdown, Oregon. A great throw. And that's his second touchdown catch of the game. The quarterback knew exactly where to put the pass. And the receiver went out there and made the grab. Good communication there. And he tacks on the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. Oregon ready to kick this one off. Lindsey and Harrison back ready to return. Kicks it off. Harrison takes it at the four. Their kicker missed the field goal attempt the last time this offense had it. Let's see what happens this time around. They'll get the ball here at the 26-yard line. Nolan with three wide receivers. He's looking down the middle. Complete tackle. Oregon State takes a timeout. Second and one coming up here. Ball on their own 35. Oregon State comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. He's looking, throws it to the outside. They connect again. What do you think of that catch, Kirk? What a steady performer this player's been. That's now over 100 yards receiving on the day for this fine young man. First and 10. 
Ball on the 45-yard line. Oregon State comes to the line with three wide. They come out with three wide receivers. Drops back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. And that one's fallen incomplete. Good time to bring the pressure. Yeah, I like it because even if you can't come up with a sack, just let the quarterback know you're coming and make him feel your presence. Sometimes that's just as effective as a sack. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 45. They'll bring in their dime package. Nolan back to throw. He's looking down the middle. And it's caught. And they make the stop. Oregon State calls a timeout. Third down and a yard. Ball on the 46. The Beaver come out in the ace formation. Looks. Rolls to the left. He's going to air it long. And it falls incomplete. He just put a little too much air under that one. That's one of the reasons defenses like to blitz, not only to sack the quarterback, but also to force him into making bad throws. The Beaver come out in a bunch formation. Looking, he'll dump this one off. He didn't get it. It's not even close. Well, they had to go for it, but they don't make it. Yeah, but I like the call. They needed to do whatever they could to get back in this ballgame. Too bad it didn't work out the way they wanted it to. They'll go to work at the 46. And they'll play it safe and take a knee. There's the kneel down by the quarterback. Oregon State takes a timeout. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 44-yard line. They come out in a nickel. And he'll just kneel it here. It's third down and 14 to go. Ball on the 42. Another hard-fought game between these two rivals. Was this what you expected to see? Oregon comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. The fine folks at EA Sports, thank you for tuning in to this contest of NCAA Football 2006. The final score, Oregon 35, Oregon State 28. This is Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit saying so long.